Welcome back everybody to House Flipper. This is Series 2 and we are going to go straight back to our map of jobs. I believe I was cleaning out a mafioso's uh, dream house or turning it into somewhere he could let his kids take part in. Ooh, there's another house over there we need to do. No worries. 69% of the way through it. Let us resume the journey. It looks a lot better than this now. It did want to. Unhappy clients we don't want. Unhappy clients like this, we definitely don't want. Alrighty, here we go. We've mowed the lawn. We started at one end, tidied everything up. And now we have this lovely garage space. It's like a boy's retreat in many ways. We wandered in here. They wanted red and purple. It was a balancing act, but uh, we did it. In here we have your entry room, a bit of a foyer. It's nice and... Elegant. This is our overpowering office. They wanted red and blue. Don't ask me why, but this is what we've got for them. And um, there's a little nook in here. Probably for where his lawyer's reading quietly in the corner. Uh, but we were going to start way over in this room here. Alrighty. Let's um, pick that up. I'm just going to drop it into here for the minute. Looks like I've got a floor choice and a wall choice, so let me have a look at their dream wall. Looks like they want some nice creamy coloured tiles all around, so um, I'm going to go with the Coda. Yeah, let's go with the Coda stone. Actually, wait a minute. We also have Travert. Or maybe we go for that. Go for the Travert tiles instead. All right. Well, that gives them that uh, that finish they wanted. We'll just finish this little corner here because I think that's what's holding it up. Right, there we are. That was what was holding it up. All right. And the next thing we want is the, the walls. And again, we've got um, Mediterranean kind of feel to it. Lots of plain. I'm actually thinking we might go with color with the Flora's big white tiles. Um, and we might go with a beige grey. No, you know what? Let's let's make it like a Roman bath. Yeah. So with with lots of colours, this plain, plain floor, and then this decadent kind of wall. Yeah, I like this. It's a bit loud, but we'll see how we go. Missed a bit. Can't afford to miss a bit with these clients. Make it perfect. Can't afford to miss a bit with any client, but um, there are some for whom the missing a bit is a bit more dire than for others. I'm going to put these tiles up here. Just because I can. I know, a little bit of patience goes a long way with this game, doesn't it? There we go, radio. I am going to put probably white paint in the um, in the doors here. All right, straight along. Changes the whole aspect of it. Look at this. So something that's just a little bit lighthearted in what's otherwise a very serious kind of house.
let's finish this properly. I know, I know the game says we've done everything we need to, but I mean, this is a little bit untidy. And I would really like to see um, this bit finished nicely. It is going to blow the budget a little bit on the tiles, but it's going to look good. You can't do that one, so that's fine. And again. Oops, no, I've got another rack of tiles over here I can use. It might be enough, but I doubt it. Yeah, we're going to need one more stack. But, that's not too bad. Uh, let's grab our recents. I oh know because once the inspirations go away, you can't, you don't have an easy reference for it. You've just got to remember what you bought before. All right, let's put them down. We're gonna flip to our paintbrush, fill that, and just give this a nice clean coat here. Beautiful. That probably would have been better to, to do here as well, but I don't know what I'm putting in there. So I'm going to see if these tiles are being used in here. Choose a floor finish. Yeah. So we can use these floor as big white. Let's grab these and put them straight in here. Okay, to finish this room, we need to... Find a pool. What's this? Oh boy. You know what? I, I'm I'm kind of torn between the Marzana or the Perun. Actually, we might go with the Perun indoor swimming pool. Oh, especially since it's got those on it. All right. Let's go with that. No. Let's go with that. The details. Alright, we're sticking with those details. And the frame is going to be cream. There we go. Just pull it out of the wall. Oh yeah, so good. Alrighty, what's this? You know, I'm thinking we might go with orange trees. And... I like the cream frame. Oh, there we go. Maybe not all orange trees though, because we've got to have space along the edge. Let me just have a look at this. So it looks to me like all of these are. All right, actually, you know what? This should remind him of his home.
The other thing that I'm thinking, let me just grab this. So we're going to put this here. We should put this in the corner. And we'll grab this one. And we'll put it. You know, we're good. And then we want to put that one there, right? Then we're going to go up to these inspirations here. And we're going to grab... The Recurvata. I swear, every day. Yeah, I like the alternating bits. Oh, what's up here? I like the webway. I'm going to go with the cream. This one we're not alternating. Alright, because they're kind of they're kind of spindly and they hide in amongst the switches. So if we turn them on, now we can oh, let's um just put this one back where it needs to be. Just come down the wall a little bit. There we go. I like that. Well it is kind of screaming out for an orange tree at the end. So I may I may stick an extra one in. Just put this one here. I don't know if this is going to work though. Give me this for a minute. Don't talk to me. I am not test driving the pool. I'm just a klutz.
That's better. Okay. What else did we have to put in here? Two alum light coloured sun chairs. It's too cold. I'd go with the cream. Go with the burn beach. And then the cream. And a Gracia door. Just going to be cream with a normal glass. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, I know. Don't speak to me. We could go with a slightly darker glass. Beautiful. I oh, know, it's taken me a while to get them. Put that over there. Okay, zebra wood panels and zebra wood panels. Well, let's go, let's get these floor, these wall things up. Maybe four, I think, something like this. He's funny, he seems to have like this really plain taste for some areas and in other areas he just goes all out for the colours and the textures and everything else. Alrighty, drop that down and sell. Let's get these floor panels in. Matchy matchy, bit annoying but there you go. Okay, we need a scenic sauna heater. We also need a glass sauna door. Let's get that thing in first. Just want to pivot it. Beautiful. Before I put that, that in, I want to get these in. I'm going to go with the dark. I mean, we could go with the sapel. No, let's go with the dark. How many of these do we want? Four. And then we want two corner benches. Not sure why, but anyway. Maybe. And then we want a scenic thing in me what's it heater. Oh, I know why. Because we want these over here, that's why. Otherwise someone's going to fall in the thing. Alrighty, roll tails by two. We'll go with the beige. And a thermo hydro thingamy what's in there. Which I'm going to put here. We also want a sauna bucket with a ladle. Well, someone wants a sauna bucket with a ladle. We'll pop it down there. This one's done. Teeny tiny sauna room. What's in here? Wall finishes. We were working on this one. Okay. 
and we need to pick a floor finish. Now we did that outside. I'm actually thinking. Let's go with the Coda Stone. All right, let me get these up. of tiles would be handy. Yes, it would. Let's go. Should be more than enough. How nice is that? <clears throat> I think I did overkill on the tiles again. Oh, always misjudging that. There we go. Put those down and sell it away. I have a very busy, crowded space. It's a lot noisier than I'd like it, but I think the guy will like it. All right, rando sink with faucet on a marble countertop. Oh, really? You want it that close to the door? That's irritating. Uh, now the tabletop, I don't really want black. I don't really want cream, it's too pale. Grey marble, too noisy. Actually, we do want that because it's nice and plain. Um, just leave that as that. And... I want to try and move this down a little bit to here. And then I want to do the same for that one. I want to move that just slightly away from the door so that people don't crack a hip. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Just move that in. There we go. All right, let's get them assembled. Radio. Yeah, if you need that plainness with the all of the noisiness around it. Shower plumbing system, a Lenoir bathroom door. Let's get the bathroom door in. Might go with the American Elm, I think. Which means we want the handles are going to be silver. The details are going to be cream and the frame, which I forgot to do. There we go. Okay. Now. One shower plumbing system and a glass shower wall, a mirror module. Let's get the mirror modules in. Yep. And the next thing we want, shower plumbing system. I'm going to put it in the back wall. Unscrew it. 
And then we want a Lakshmi rain shower. I'm not sure this is where we want this, um, I guess. I just don't have enough experience to know what's best. And then we need an Ignitey mountable glass shower wall. I'm hoping this is what I think it is. Yeah, so then you can kind of come in around this side. You get your shower wall in the middle. Then again, I'm not sure. <laughs> right, I've messed that one up. Never mind, we're good. We're going to pretend that that's a shower wall that's designed for the middle. All right, now this is my lousy choice of lights, which we're going to have to live with. Let's have a look at what we're looking at in here. We want some kind of decadent luxury parquet floor thing. Actually, we need... Ah, uh, I'm torn between the teeth dark tiles and the... Let's go with the dark brown tiles. I want to see what this looks like with this. It's a contrast to the space beyond, um, which is not a bad thing. Oh, we don't want to do that. Oh, right. Well, okay, we do want to do that now. Okay, the floor's in. And now we want this wall. I like the teeth light colored tiles. Um, all throughout the house, we've got these other panels. Ooh. Let's go with the Renabry beige marble. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So what we've got is we've got an echo of the pattern in the floor. But. And an echo of the colour in the floor. But definitely our own kind of toned down area. Oh, I'm using a lot of things that I don't normally use here, so it's a learning curve. Possibly as to why I don't normally use them, but I'm thinking um, it's not that bad. Let's see how we go. Now I wonder if that's, oh that's where the air conditioner is going to be mounted. I'm like, I wonder if that's uh, like something I should have sold, but no, it's not. Right. I 
I really, really don't like these chandeliers, but I'm not going to sell them because my budget will be absolutely wrecked. What's this? Alrighty. I like this one. But I'm looking for... I need something a little bit lighter than the rest. Chocolate large looks like it might have to be. I was hoping for the um, the ancient American thing. All right, let's hopefully we can get a chocolate. Ooh. No, we're going with this one. And the chocolate large legs. Details are in. No, details are going to be in gold because it's warm. And that looks like the best cloth cover I can have. So. All right, what's this? That's what I was hoping. I know, a little bit at a time. It's like we've got the boat in the other room. Let's have a little reminder of home. All right. What I'm trying to do is center it, yeah, over the table. All right, air conditioner needs to be mounted. We'll get that up and running. quite literally make it unobtrusive bring it across to the center here we'll assemble that There we go. All right, that one's up and running. All righty. Let's see what other... What's this? That out of the wall just a little bit. Okay, over here. I was hoping. Uh, I'm going to go with that. In the chocolate large, of course. Use this one. Oh, fireplace. That's a monstrosity, isn't it? Okay, we just put that there for a minute. We're going to grab this out of the way. And then grab this and flip it. Then we're going to grab this. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't want it along the wall. I'm thinking he actually probably wants it equidistant about here. Yeah. And we're going to turn that on. 
I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab that. And it's gonna be in the cream again. All right, so I want to center the uh, the fireplace. Yep. Let's use this. We're going to go with the classic. We're going to make it large. Just a very cozy little corner. All right, and then we're going to want to get this this light, and it's going to have to come across to the middle. Okay, and now that mirror is not quite there, is it? So we're going to grab it. Yep, and then we're going to grab this. We, we've got that. Let's go with this. All right. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Except we want to center it above the couch. Okay. Now we have this space, the Gustum wooden corner left. Cupboard type B. Cedar oak, sapel, Brazil nut, dark padauk. Burn beach, wenge. There's no chocolate larch in here. Dark padauk is, is good though. We'll get that. That's a pretty close match. Handles we're going to have is the silver, the tabletop. No. Yes, maybe. Or that. Um, hmm. No, I'm thinking we may actually have to be. Just turn everything back how I had it. Is there a cream? No. Okay, we're going to go beige then. Uh, no, definitely not the. All right, well, we've got the other colors, right? We just need to work this one out. It's either the brown or the cream. So I'm going to go with the cream. Okay, wooden standing set B2 meters. Again, in the dark paddock. cream and the beige right that'll do okay and then we're going to go with that Again, go dark padelk. Handles here. The door there. Cream countertop. Okay. And then the next thing we want is our Gustum wooden right corner cupboard type B. Uh-oh. I may have to rearrange a couple of things. 
you think. Yeah, definitely. Give me a minute. So basically what I need is I think I need to put this and this in the opposite places. It's not going to make a difference. Okay, well that's fine then. Put it back where I had it. But it does at least tell me where I need to put that corner cupboard. Because it's here, not where I thought it was. Okay, glazed hanging wooden corner. Let's go with that. Dark padauk, beige handle. The glass is glass and it goes up in the corner. Where else would it go? It is a corner hanging cabinet. Wide wood enclosed refrigerator, which is again the dark padauk. Beige on the handles. Just let me put that over there for a minute. Let me grab this over here. I'm going to grab this over here. I'm not sure who designed this kitchen, but they need to be dealt with. I do not like it, Sam. I am, but it'll do. Okay. Just a wooden cupboard with drawers. Okay, oh, and another one. Oh, well, of course. Just make life awkward, why don't you? I mean, we could have put that corner cupboard there, but it would have obscured the door. So, I'll live with it. Left cupboard to the peninsula. No idea. No idea. See if I can make some sense. Oh, I see. Right, that's that's good. Wooden hanging set E2 in the dark for dark with the beige handles. That fridge is in the way, isn't it? Yep, you bet your bottom dollar. So what they want then. Okay, it's actually got to come off. It, they won't let me sit square. Hanging set B2 again. I'm hoping this is like slightly shorter than the other one and it'll fit nicer in here. It's not going to. All right. Fine, let me just... Let's go again. See, theoretically it should have fit. It does. Kind of. All right, it does have to come out a little bit. Yes, we are doing it this way. Okay. Hawkwood bean of a house. That is bothering me. Okay. A peacock statue, a crystal carafe, and diamondic glass. Radio. Peacock statue. Egg, I guess it's
Crystal Craft. And two Diamondi glasses. And a hanging wooden cabinet, 40 centimeters by one, because we always like to have a surprise there for our builder. Who knows exactly what to do with it. You know what? That's not a bad combo. All right. I know. Can we, have we done everything else in this house? Yeah, we just have this little room in here. Just going to move that over. All right. Where's my paint roller? And here. I know, we, we nearly made it. You watch, I'll need that over here now. That's actually not a bad little room. All right, I wanted to paint the very last two bits up here. There we are. Pop that away. Let's lay our floor tiles. They want zebra wood again in here because it's decadent and luxurious and pretty. Boom. All right. <clears throat> Beowulf's brown low panels with cream paint and Beowulf's light brown low panels with blue. Let's go with that. Well, definitely that. All right, so what I'm thinking is we're going to grab this, we're going to turn it into a feature wall. So we get all of this up. Use colour fairly sparingly. And then what we're going to do, we'll drop that down there, is we're going to grab our cream paint. We don't want it too cold. We want it kind of warm. Uh, you know what? Let, let's, let, let's do that. We probably only need about three, but I'll take four in case. Okay. Make it wide. Bring that up. So it's kind of reflective of the, um, the styles that you've got in the kitchen and the dining room area except for this one vivid blue wall. Okay. Now, actually I kind of like that in the contrast. Yep, alrighty. <clears throat> A Ramaris wooden bed, nightstand, cabinet, mirror. Let's see how we go. Gonna go with the chocolate larch. He's got a preference for that one. Doesn't like hospital beds. Let's give him something blue to sleep on. Little white pillows at the front. Black pillow in the middle for contrast. And blue at the back. Bedding. I am actually thinking that that red is what we want. No, that's what we want. And the details, they can be gold. All right, and the next thing, Ramaris nightstands in the chocolate larch, the details as is. Good. 
I like the contrast between that and the larch. Here's what I'm thinking. A Romaris wooden cabinet in the chocolate larch. We are going to put that there. Right. Or over there. I'm not sure which. I think over there, actually. Wooden mirror. It's got to go up. Okay. No, I think it does go over here. <clears throat> All right, it's too small. Filiax is going to give them a. Turquoise base. And a large Katusha big on a turquoise base if I've got one. All right, then we have our double sliding doors with door frame, chocolate larch, if I've got it. Boom. Got so much gold in here, we might as well add some more. I'm going to have to add the zebra wood floor in again. Otherwise, it'll look wrong. Okay. Wooden chest of drawers and cupboard, one of each. All right, and cactus long dark curtains. By five. I'm not at all sure this is right, but anyway. It'll do. Okay. A Lorraine clock. Golden. On the chocolate large. Beautiful. This room in here. Ceramic tiles white and floor is big white. Alrighty. Let's get the floor tiles down. And. 
Okay. Bathtub, sink, suspended toilet. They don't want a shower in here, right? Hang on. Bathtub, sink, suspended toilet. No. So we're going to grab this bathtub plumbing system and we're going to put it up in the back here. Legrono bathtub with dark cover. We will go with the dark blue. Yeah, definitely the dark blue this time. The details are going to leave is silver. We could go black. Oh yeah, let's go black. Yep. All right. Sink and suspended toilet. I'm going to put my sink up here. I may regret this yet. Yep, that's the right the right blues. Okay. I'm going to keep it plain. Uh, the handle's black because we're doing black everywhere else in here. So this is black. All right. Looks like I'm stuck with that there. I forgot. It's probably not my best design bathroom, but I have a budget that I need to stick to, so. There is no more room. Bathrooms are expensive. Already. Oh no, we wanted two of those. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the second one in. Hang on a minute. Fine. I know, now I am playing chicken with the budget. Two sink systems. Okay. All right. So what I want is I want one. I'm going to have to gauge it. About there. And then I want the other one in beside it. Just have to make sure we've got everything matching. Not quite where I wanted it, but it'll do. Okay, this this is going to annoy me here, but we can move it just a little bit. We'll move it out a little bit more. There. Alrighty. Okay, floor is big and white. So what I want is I want my big white tiles. And then I want my floor is... Okay. And I basically want the floors to demark this section here. 
just like the pool area. So what he's doing is he's creating himself a little pool space or a space that reminds him of the pool area. One more. Okay. And then the rest of this bathroom is pristine. Although why he would choose this, this is like very prison cell kind of memory invoking. Maybe he just wants to remember where he came from. Or where he doesn't want to go. One of those. So what I wanted was a zone. Okay, so that end zone. Yep, that's pretty much it. Okay, so a suspended toilet plumbing system. And I am going to put it right in the middle here. And then we're going to need a suspended toilet, which I'm going to just have as plain white. Beautiful. Lagrono Dark Mirror by Chu. So we may have to move this light in a minute. We are going to leave it as the dark blue just to match in with the um, everything else that's here. Lanwa bathroom door. Uh, which I want to be quite dark because everything else is quite dark in here. And just see if there's a better color like for instance chocolate larch if, if we have any but i don't think we do i mean is sapel going to be a better match yeah the sapel will be a better match all right and gold because we want it to match the bedroom details can be dark brown and the frame is Sapel. So we just bring that round and we'll just pop everything. So when you're in this room this door doesn't look out of place. Okay, Legrono right corner dark cabinet. Hmm, that's going to be awkward. So basically what we should have had was that there. That's not going to happen now. I'm going to pop it over here. We're going to have like a little awkward spot in this corner. And then the Grono tall cabinet. All right. All righty. What we'll do is this. We'll pop this one here. And then we'll put this right beside it. Then because we've got a little bit extra in the budget, I'm going to grab one of these mirrors. 
Right, and then we're going to grab this and we're going to move it along and put it about here. And we're going to grab this and we're going to center it between here. There we go. All right, now let's see. That's a bit better. Yeah. Well, in that case, we've done everything. We've earned 29,452. Let us hit that end button. And we've got 100% of the job completed. Let's complete it. Oh, wow, that worked. And surprisingly enough, so did that. Okay. So it's a house of contrast, really, when you think about it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's going to be happy with that. And um, that's why we mowed the lawn, because it looks so much nicer. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. All right. So I guess next episode. So I guess what we'll do next episode is we'll see if we have enough money to buy. Well, actually, we can check that now. Let's see how we went. So we're going to our browser for purchase 67 houses. And we're looking at the historic house. So I've got 91,290 in the bank and I'm three grand short. <laughs> All right, so I guess next episode we're going to be doing one more job. So, well, we might have to do a couple because the house is going to cost us 91 grand. Um, but then we're going to have to be able to afford to do it up. So probably another two or three houses away before we can get to our historic house. But we're on our way. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I will check you later. Take care out there.